This is Top Don's battery charger, which is roughly the same price as his battery tender, except this does a lot more. This is the TB6000 Pro, and let's see what's in the box. We have the unit itself, which actually feels very high quality, and the alligator clamps. You do have the ability to hardwire this to your battery, which you just pull out just like that. Then you just plug in the hardwire. At first glance, this looks very simple, but there's a lot more to it. There's an app on the App Store to control this unit. It's called TB6000 Pro. To so go ahead and install that. It's very quick to download. Okay. Step one is to go ahead and plug in the unit. Zero volts right now. Black on negative and the positive on positive. It's currently showing at 12 volts. This battery is probably going bad and we are going to find out with the app. Let's go ahead and press the top left corner. So it's disconnected, connect to the unit. And it's already connected, that was very quick. Go on testing, let's go on battery test. Make sure you've gone through all the safety concerns. Go on next, battery type. Pretty sure this is an AGM flat plate. Battery standard is CAA, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and click CCA. Battery rating, 900. And let's go on next, it's testing. Good battery condition. Please charge, which makes a lot of sense. State health is 62%, state of charge is 27. I can save it. Let's go ahead and save it. Now I can also share it. CCA means cold cranking amps. So save to my photos right there if I ever need it. Okay. You can also do a charging test, which will need to open the garage for ventilation and start the car over. Turn on the electronics and turn them off. Go on next. Confirm. Next. Normal charging, so that's good. Now we can do a cranking test. Let's go ahead and do that as well. So everything's turning out pretty good so far. Now we can do a quick charging, and which is pretty interesting, these top-down units are able to actually repair batteries in some cases. But I'm not gonna do quick charging, I am gonna do smart charging. And it already has my information saved in here. You can add an appointment for charging, which means you can have a start time and continuous time. So if you wanted to charge at night where electricity might be cheaper, you can do that. I'm not gonna do that because I really don't care. So let's go ahead and start charging. And on the app, it has this graph, which is really cool. And on the unit itself, it says it's at 65%. And charging your battery this way will prolong the life of the battery. Now you can enter a standard charging mode by simply pressing this power button when it's plugged in without using your phone. So you don't need your phone to charge the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect from this. So I'm gonna disconnect. Okay, it's still running. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect to it. Okay, it's charging. So to get back to that page, you just go to smart charging. I'll be back whenever this is done charging and then we're gonna review the report. It's been over 24 hours since I started this. It's on a trickle charge, so that means it's slowly charging up the battery. I accidentally stopped the charging when I first started doing this, so that's why it says the before charging percentage is at 73 instead of 65. Um, but as you can see on the app, it shows you the battery life and the battery life after charging. Now on top of that, you can take the photo of the battery. Let's say if you work at a mechanic shop and you're working on someone's car, you can show evidence that this is what you're doing. And that's really cool. And then you can send them and share them the report, which is basically just a screenshot. Now it currently says 100%, but yet it says 90% charge. As you can see, the battery level is 100%. But if I view the report, currently it shows the current battery life, which is at 90%. The internal resistance has dropped to 2.8 ohms. And now there's only 856 cold cranky amps. Although the battery is 100% charged, that's just the capacity of the battery now. Makes sense. And you do not need to have the device plugged in to do a battery test. So here's a battery test after I've already charged it 100%. Testing, and there you go, 13.09 volts. You see that the state of health is 89%, it actually dropped. However, the state of charge is 100%. 
with the new cold cranking amps at 850. So this is a more accurate reading compared to what the battery charger is telling you. Then what I like a lot about this app is that you can go to test results or test reports, my mistake, go on to test. And I did a battery test at the very beginning. State of health was at 62% and state of charge was at 27%. And the cold cranking amps was 706. So after I charged it, the numbers changed. It's nice that the app keeps track of all that. And you don't get that with the battery tender. That's the Top Dom TB6000, a pretty cool unit. I'm pretty sure it's the first of its kind and is way ahead of other battery tenders and chargers. Um, especially at its price point and the size. It has a pretty great capability. If you want to check this out, I have a link right down below for your convenience. That's one fantastic way to support this channel. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate and respect another. I'll see you next time.